Hey y'all, welcome to Scared of Beautiful. My name is Plez. I know a random late night video, but y'all, I was scrolling Facebook. One of my friends posted an article in the article's headline stated that Juan Dixon has been fired as the head coach at Coppin State University and will no longer be leading the team it was breaking news, and normally I don't hop on these breaking news topics, but I have been a fan of Real Housewives of Potomac ever since season one. I feel like we saw when Juan got this job because I definitely remember him being unemployed. So I invested in this story, and I thought this would be a perfect topic to do one of my shorter <laughs> Woo Chow reaction videos. So y'all, let's get into it. I'm going to show you all the article that my friend shared where I got the news from, and we're going to read that, go through just my opinion on everything and how this may potentially affect Robin in the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Potomac. So let's get into this article. All right, y'all. This comes from cbsnews.com and it states after six seasons as head basketball coach Juan Dixon is out at Coppin State University Dixon told stadium's basketball analyst Jeff Goodman the news of his departure the former Maryland Terrapin star star was named head coach at Coppin State back in 2017 after serving as head coach of the University of the District of Columbia's women's basketball team for two seasons. Over Dixon's tenure, the Eagles amassed a record of 51 to 131 overall, including a 9 and 23 record this past season. In fact, Coppin State won the MEAC regular season championship with Dixon at the helm during the 2020 to 2021 season, the school's first championship since 2003 to 2004. As a player, Dixon led the Maryland men's basketball team to the school's first national championship in 2002. Okay, y'all. This is what the release says. This is what the news is stating that they've decided to part ways. He's out. He's been fired. What this doesn't say is the reasons why he was let go, right? So we can all make our own opinions around this and why he was perhaps let go. One reason that I know we all talk about, we've seen, it's been on the news. They covered it on Real Housewives of Potomac this last season's reunion. Juan had some allegations come up against him from a former, former basketball player who filed a lawsuit against the university and named Juan Dixon in the lawsuit alleging some very inappropriate misconduct by another associate coach. And it's stated that Juan did not report this when it actually happened. We don't know if that is true or not, but those are the allegations. You can use your Googles. You can review, review the allegations within the lawsuit. Let's just say they were very, very dangerous allegations, alleging some sexual misconduct on behalf of that associate basketball coach and that Juan Dixon did not take appropriate action to report it to the university within the guidelines and to protect his players. We don't know if that happened or not, but those are the allegations that are out there. And I guess we'll have to see how it plays out in the lawsuit. However, one thing I wanted to bring to you all's attention, and I'll go back to showing sh sharing the article, is that I noticed once, you know, 
his record was not the best. So it says that throughout his tenure from 2017, so that's about six seasons, he had a 51 to 131 overall team record. For those of you who don't know basketball, 50, the first number is your number of wins. So that means he's averaged about nine wins, eight to nine wins in his six seasons, right? In this last season, nine and 23, which means nine wins exactly. It's not the best record. So I honestly think they were gracious with giving one six seasons. Most uh, head coaches would have been out by that time anyway. So, you know, I hate to see someone lose their job. I'm not going to sit here and delight in others' misfortunes, right? We don't want to do that. However, we have to be fair as to what is going on in the realm of Real Housewives of Potomac, right? And if we're being fair, and you've watched season after season, Robin herself does not show the most grace to the ladies or their husbands, right? And so though we don't like to share in the misery of others, it's only right that we analyze this from a space of what will happen with Robin. Juan is out. Should Robin still be in? I'll get to my personal opinion in a minute, but you know, I think Robin would benefit from listening to the words of the OG, Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Nene Leakes, in... You never can win when you're dirty, honey. You never can win. You never can win when you're dirty, honey. Robin has consistently come after all of the women and their husbands. Ashley and Michael Darby, it started there. Karen and Ray Huger, it went to Karen and Ray. Then we got to Monique and Chris Samuels. Then they tried Eddie and Wendy Osefo. We watched it all play out. So though I don't want to see Robin or Juan or those beautiful boys out on the streets, you know, Nene said it one way, Justin Timberlake said it another way. What goes around comes around, Robin. That's just how this world works. Um, if you think I'm going back too far, please, you know, maybe Robin has changed. Well, we saw that, you know, that's debatable. That's questionable because the reunion just went off. But Let's give her, her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say she changed, right? So the Dixons are going to have a decrease in income, right? Juan is out of a job. We don't know how soon he may get another one because of those allegations and the fact that his record just wasn't the best. I don't think that the record speaks that well of his talent or ability as a head coach. But let's say that maybe Robin and Giselle have calmed down a little. Let's go over here and see what they have been doing over on the Reasonably Shady Podcast, honey. Now, I do not subscribe to this podcast and definitely don't subscribe to the Patreon. However, if you all are feeling in the giving mood, Robin could use your $5 a month. So since both of them may be out of a job soon, definitely go check out the Reasonably Shady podcast in their Patreon. And you get to see everything that they're about, all of the benefits you'll get. But as we scroll down, the last episode was called P-Power, okay? Giselle and Robin are, who. That's a, a spicy title for them. And the next post, the last post on February 27th says, don't be tardy on your bills. Now, Robin, this is why you really got to watch what you say. Because in this episode, she's talking about 
Teresa and all the drama over at Real Housewives of New Jersey and also Kim Zosiak and her alleged foreclosures. So I think it may be a bit apropos uh, at this moment that we use that title on you. So if you all decide that you want to support her, um, go on over and give your $5 a month. I think that's a fair donation if you are in the mood to do so. While we're supporting her businesses, let's go and check out her other business. That, of course, would be none other than the embellished hats. And, y'all, I was shocked to find that Robin has a full-on website, y'all. She has everything going on. So we see caps. There's a micro suede cap for $29.99. Black on black excellence. We're here for the black excellence. It's $29. Add to cart. It, and you can buy with Google Pay, you all. So it is available and ready. The last time I came to this website, nothing was for sale, right? Everything was sold out. Let's see. They have beanies now. It's a little cold. Oh, wait. One is sold out. And let's see, graphic tees and hoodies. Come on for the bag. She has expanded the bag. Please don't try me today, sweatshirt. Uh, well, unfortunately, it seems to, to appear that everything in the hoodie and t-shirt. Right, let's go to the next page. This is all sold out. Now, Robin, just a word of advice. You got to get your inventory up, hon. Get your inventory. You may need an influx of income. So let's see, masks. Uh, all the masks are sold out too, y'all. So if you want to support Robin, right now all you can buy are the caps. And I remember some of these, particularly this one. I don't see any of the ladies' pictures from when they modeled for free for her last season. You had people model for free, Robin, and took the pictures down. That's, that's not cool. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Um, I just wanted to share some ways, y'all, that you can support Robin and help her because this may be a hard time. The title stated, Robin Dixon is out. Should, excuse me, Juan Dixon is out. Should Robin be in? In my opinion, you all, Robin should be out as well. But please... This can actually finally be a storyline for her. But please, we don't want to see people without their job. Y'all, I definitely don't want to see people without their job. But Robin has been given seven seasons at this point to bring anything to the show. And she doesn't. This, although I know... Everyone is, you know, reading the news and I saw some comments from just my friend group. Oh my God, they have to cover this on the show. Have, have we not watched Robin these last seven seasons? They're not going to talk about this. Juan hates the show. He's not going to share this part of his personal life and his personal career. I wouldn't be surprised at this point if Juan refuses to film at all if he refuses to allow his children to film. Robin does not show transparency. She doesn't show honesty. We just saw this with the Canada boo, allegedly. She's going to take that over to that Patreon, maybe. And if that lawsuit is still going on, they are go not going to be able to talk about it under the advice of counsel. If they're smart, I'm sorry, I don't see it. That's my opinion. Although this is breaking news, as far as I'm concerned, nothing has changed. Robin and Giselle need to be split up. I'm sick of seeing them. Let each one take a green eye somewhere else. One over there, one somewhere else. I'm just not here for it. If Robin comes back next season, I, I don't know if I'm going to watch or not, but y'all, y'all know that she's not going to do anything different. She's going to deflect 
in gaslight and try to get in everybody's business but her own. And Giselle is going to help her do it. And honestly, after this last reunion, I don't know if I can rely on the other ladies to hold her accountable. Even though they say they want everyone to be treated equally and they want accountability, I don't see it happening. So you all let me know your opinion in the comments. I don't think it's going to happen. And always remember, you never can win when you're dirty, honey. You never can win. You never can win when you're dirty, honey. So let's try to treat each other better and let's enjoy our day. I hope y'all have a great night. I hope you enjoy. Like the video, subscribe, and hit your notifications bell. I'll see you next time. Bye.